entrance with uh, entrance screening and our exit right here. So we're gonna have an x-ray machine, we'll have a walkthrough uh, magnetometer to detect metal like we do currently do, but in the old in the old courthouse, it's kind of, it, it looks kind of like it's put together with bubble gum, bailing wire, and stuff. We are looking at one of four historical murals that have been put up in the courthouse. And tell me about this mural. Well, uh, this is the result of a lot of hard work from our staff at the court who went to the Historical Society and tried to find pictures that showed uh, our historic courthouse in uh, its early stages, its development. You can see the beginnings of what was there before the current courthouse in number one. That's the original Tuolumne County Courthouse that was built in the 1850s. And then you can see number the next one is what our current courthouse location is. Uh, and we found all these pictures of people always seem to be drawn to taking pictures around the courthouse on the steps. I think I guess there's something about the, the beauty and grandeur of the building that people just want to congregate uh, to it and have a picture taken. And uh, this picture is one of my favorites since I'm a, I'm a World War II history buff. That they, they had a, what they was called a roll, honor roll of military service in World War II that was a, a big board that was actually on, on wheels in a cart. And they moved it in, in front of the courthouse and they had all our Tuolumne County and Sonoran veterans uh, who served in World War II have a picture right in front of the courthouse. So that, that to me is, is, uh, you know, is a great picture to, uh, to look at. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna add a new chapter to the history here with a new building. We're in the biggest courtroom now. Right, this is our biggest courtroom. It's called Department One. It'll be on the first floor. This is gonna be one of our criminal courtrooms. Uh, it is the courtroom that has the, the, the most capacity for our audience seating. And it also has the most, what we call uh, TV displays that will allow uh, the public to see whatever the jury seen or the judges seen on the projector that we put down there. So that's, a, that's something new in courts now, a new uh, court facility guideline, is to have these displays for the public to be able to see what everyone else has seen uh, in terms of jury and judge. And that's what we call transparency in terms of Folks got to see what the court is doing, and the only way you can do that is if you can see what's on uh, the, the screen that the jury is looking at. And so that'll be like evidence and different yeah. photos and things like that? Exactly. Whatever a lawyer wants to present to the jury that they see on that screen will be displayed over here. And we are going to be installing them in all courtrooms now, <laughs> <laughs> thanks to uh, thanks to, this, to what uh, the construction team did. They installed these first for us and we're gonna install the others uh, ourselves. Okay. And they've got plenty of elbow room in this baby. What do we have here? Well, these, I guess you could just call them jump seats. Yeah. Uh, the intention of this is to have uh, additional seating. You know, sometimes you have a lot of lawyers waiting to, uh, to uh, be in front of the judge with their, with their, with their clients and you need, they need somewhere to sit and wait for their turn to be in front of the, in, at the council table before the judge, and this is where they can wait. And, we, and they can get out of the way when, this, when they're not needed. And they're built in, and they look beautiful, and they match, you know, they match everything here in the courtroom. All right, and tell me about the stone here on the back of the courtroom here. It's beautiful. Yes, this stone comes from the Columbian Quarry, which is local, Blue Mountain. And it was, uh, blown out, so blown up to be able to be processed into these size pieces, which we shipped down over to buy a company in Angel's Camp to mill them out into different sizes and different thicknesses. And it took um, quite a long time to get that process through because, and the blend, um, which the designers put into it, are pretty much different in every courtroom.
And tell me about the lights up here. That's natural light, right? Yes, that's natural light. Those are magnifying uh, skylights that we have installed and they are controlled by a switch so you can close them off when it's too bright or you can leave them on and, and provide natural lighting to the courtroom. And yeah. tell me, why is this witness box so big? Well, we're, we made them to this size because the state court facilities guidelines requires our witness boxes to be big enough so that you can have uh, two people here. One person uh, could be the interpreter, either for a deaf person or a person who doesn't speak English. You can be right next to the person who's supposed to be testifying. And so you have plenty of room for them, which right now <laughs> we, we literally have to kind of put someone on kind of like uh, on, on the floor. I don't know if you've noticed the witness box in some of the courtrooms over in the old courthouse. We have barely enough room for one person to fit in the witness box. We have to put the, an interpreter kind of on the floor away from where they're sitting. So this, is, this will make it easier for folks to get the help they need when they're, t when they're testifying in court. And in terms of this holding cell area, what makes it different from the old car courthouse? What makes it better? Well, first of all, we don't have any holding cells in the old courthouse, which really slows us down because we have to wait for uh, anyone who's uh, in custody uh, from a jail or from a prison to be brought to the court, and we have to wait for them. So that slows us down. Here, they can be brought, they'll wait for the court, and when the court's ready, they're here and we take them straight in. The other thing that helps us here is now we have the ability to keep these people away from the public. Because now we don't have to walk them through the lobbies or through the stairwells where the public is uh, walking. Uh, we can bring them in straight here in elevators that will take them straight into the courtroom holding cells because we have holding cells right next to the courtrooms that we can immediately take them into the courtroom within a few seconds. So it's a big, big improvement over what we have in the old courthouse. You're good right there. Just look to your, your left is the... And the walkway here, what is this for? Well, this walkway has multiple purposes. One of the purposes is an alternative uh, fire escape or emergency exit that you need to get people out. But the other purpose of it is to, another way to bring in uh, prisoners from the jail. Uh, originally, the, the idea was that there would be a connecting uh, covered walkway from the jail straight into the courthouse, and this is the way they would come. And through that door, you'll see that the jail is a very short distance away. And all we need to do is a little bit of work to get a walkway built between the two buildings. But that will be something that we hope will help happen in the future. So the next area we're going to go into is what I think a lot of the public is going to be very interested in, as am I, because of having mm -hmm. been a juror, or I never got picked, but I had to sit and... <laughs> Go through it for a little while. So show us this uh, new area where well, possible right, jurors will be. Right here, we have our new jury uh, deliberation room, where folks we're going to be who are finally selected for the jury will be able to come in here and get a very nice setting to uh, be able to make decisions on the court cases. We have we're going to have for them big screen TV. We're going to have AV equipment so that they can look at evidence. We also have a nice whiteboard in the back. Uh, and we're going to have a very nice, large, uh, specially designed uh, table that kind of uh, starts wide. It's a trapezoid, so it'll be really wide here, and it'll narrow out as you get down here to the middle of the room. So everyone can sit very comfortably with uh, quality chairs. Uh, this will make the jury experience much, I think, much more pleasant for people who are going to be in here, you know, for hours trying to figure out what to do or what to decide a case. So we have, uh, we definitely have a significant upgrade from what we currently have people delivering in the, uh, in the old courthouse. There's only one drawback though for this new courthouse. We currently have four 
uh, jury deliberation rooms now. We only will have two in this building. So we're, we're getting, uh, you know, we're cutting the number of jury deliberation rooms in half. I mean, they're nicer, but we're getting fewer of them, and which is the only thing we, you know, the only downgrade I could say that we have in this building in terms of things that will help us operate and help our jurors and the public. Fewer jury deliberation rooms. But, but they will nice. have a sink and they will have a refrigerator, yeah, they, right? They're going to be nice. <laughs>